Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an error message on Windows 10 or Windows 11 that says in order to configure the TCP slash IP, you must install and enable a network adapter card. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to resolve this issue. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Search for device manager. Best match, I'll come back with device manager. So go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the network adapter section, so double click on that. And then you want to right click on whatever network connection is listed under here. And you want to select uninstall device. Please note that if you're using a Wi-Fi connection, when you restart your computer, you will have to enter in those Wi-Fi credentials to get back online. Find those credentials before you select the uninstall button, which we're going to do right now. And then once you've done that, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. When you restart your computer, it'll automatically reinstall those network drivers. You should hopefully not be encountering this error message any longer. However, if you are still having a problem, we can attempt to just restart network settings again through Windows settings. So open up the search menu, type in network reset. Best match, so come back with network reset. Go ahead and open that up. And then this will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN client software or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Again, make sure you have those Wi-Fi credentials nearby, and then select Reset Now. Select Yes, and then go ahead and close out of here, and then restart your computer. So now once you've restarted your computer, hopefully the network adapter card should be recognized. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.